this exercise is really focused around helping the spleen system to become unstuck. And when spleen is stuck, when the spleen tree is a little bit stuck, we often find that we have digestive issues because the spleen in Chinese medicine governs the whole of digestion. So that could be anything at all digestion wise. It could be indigestion, it could be uh, diarrhea, constipation, stomach cramps, anything like that. Also, when the spleen gets a little bit stuck, for women, this may result in uh, problems with periods, menstruation, irregular periods, um, many different gynecological issues. And also on the more emotional and mental side of things, when spleen is stuck, we just feel bleh, really stuck in the mud, as though we can't be bothered to do anything. We're not motivated. We want to be motivated, but we just can't bring ourselves to do it. So this exercise will help you with that. So again, starting with the hands down by your sides, if you're standing or just resting on your thighs, if you're sitting. And then placing one hand on top of the other with the palms, both palms facing up. And with the movement, first of all, what we're going to do is lift both hands up towards chest, around chest level. And from here, we're going to turn the bottom hand over so the palm faces down. Keep the top hand with the palm facing up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move the hands away from each other along the midline. So the bottom hand is going down. It will then have to come out to the side a little bit. The top hand, what you're going to do is move your hands as though you're holding a plate and you don't want to drop anything off the plate. So keep the palm facing towards the ceiling. Turn the hand out so the fingers turn towards the outside. So you're rotating the hand. You see how my elbow comes towards the inside here. Keep turning, turning, turning all the way around. Fingertips now facing back towards the wall. And then you see how the elbow comes out to the side. Keep rotating. And then when you've reached the maximum rotation there, your shoulder won't go any further, then allow the hand to push up towards the ceiling. Bottom hand pushing down towards the floor. And then just take a look up at your hand just to check that it's facing up towards the sky or the ceiling. From here, turn the top hand so the palm faces down and the bottom hand so the palm faces up. And then bring them back to midline level and dropping the shoulder of the top hand, allow that shoulder and that elbow to descend the hand and the hands are going to pass now at the midline area. The hand that's ascending and going upwards stays closest to the body. The hand that's coming down is on the outside. So we're swapping over now. So now this next hand is turning out and going up towards the ceiling. The bottom hand going down towards the floor. And then looking up at the hand. Turning, the top hand palm faces down, bottom hand palm faces up, coming through the midline again. The ascending hand is on the inside. And now, turning out. Now, as we move the, the, the top hand up and the bottom hand down, we're breathing out. And then as we bring the hands together down through the midline, we're breathing in. So you may have to speed up a little bit now to keep up with your own breath. Turning, breathing out. And then as the hands come down, looking straight ahead, breathing in. Turning the hand out. Breathing in. Now, so where's the mind for all of this? So bringing the mind in, as you breathe out and extend the top hand, think of lengthening the sides of the body, 
creating lots of space in the abdominal cavity for the digestive organs. So when we create space, that physical space in the body, what we're doing is we're allowing more room, more physical room for qi flow and for healing to take place. So think of really being really tall, being really long in the trunk of the body, in the abdominal area, really extending up with the hand, unless you have any issues with your shoulder or your neck, in which case, just go to where you can comfortably extend the arm. Don't ever be in any pain as you practice Qigong. Breathing in. And one more time to each side. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. So as much as you're pushing up with the top hand, you're pushing down the bottom hand, really getting that lovely length diagonally across the body. Breathing in. Now to finish this exercise, as the hands come together now, allow the palms to face each other until they're maybe about six inches away from each other. And just breathe using your abdominal breath, becoming aware of any sensation you feel between the palms of the hands, almost as though you're squashing a little chi ball between your hands. Turn the hands over so you're holding the ball in front of you. And then draw that ball into the lower belly area, into Dantian, placing one hand over the lower belly, the other hand directly on top of that. Just close the eyes for a moment, checking that you're sitting or standing straight and with that lovely length in the back of the neck, feeling that spaciousness that you've created in the abdominal area. To make more space, and allow any stuck spleen chi to move around a lot more freely. And gently opening the eyes.